was founded in 1973 as the academic arm of, of the UN uh, system, um, we have to think about this being a time where uh, national universities, normal universities, looked a little bit different from today, where, uh, let's say, um, policy-oriented research was not on everybody's agenda. So whether it was a lot of theorizing, a lot of um, um, ivory tower science, but sometimes the question of what is actually coming out for um, practice and policy making, particularly for other UN organizations, what is also coming out in terms of independent research was a quite tricky question. So the General Assembly of the United Nations thought that they would actually need an academic arm, something like a think tank that on the one hand side condenses what is going on in science globally. So things like we're having here, convene scientists from all over the world and try to think about what is really, what is in it for policy making for other, in, in terms of advice for other uh, UN initiatives and UN bodies of this project, so it's quite nice to see two uh, different views, maybe, or, or uh, accompanying views on this uh, matter. And I'm very, very grateful for him that he just uh, volunteered this morning when I went into his office to say, yes, he'll be here on, on stage, so to say. So thanks very much, Joachim, for making this possible. And uh, I would like to... Uh, after I should introduce, everyone will have a chance to briefly present himself and their work, so we will get an idea what they're doing. Then Pia Hollenbach, the next we have uh, the participants, you know her from the movie we've seen yesterday, that together with the greenhouse, they have uh, presented yesterday, it's on recovery uh, issues after the tsunami in different countries, housing projects, and what lessons learned they are. Uh, for us to see, and it's also a matter how to communicate such lessons learned in the form and language of a movie. So that will be another topic to discuss today, maybe. Then all of you, except for Thorsten, you have seen the presentation of our next guest from the German Red Cross. Um, we're very happy to have you here for another one and a half hours, uh, Wolfgang Friedrich, who presented on their perspective on evaluations they have uh, conducted. Uh, in an eight years perspective, and we have already intensively discussed some of the topics. And uh, then uh, Matthias and I will guide you through the next one and a half hours. The idea is that Matthias and I first ask some questions so everyone has a chance to present himself and the work they've been doing, and then after that we immediately start involving you. So we are all involved in this round table. Yes, it's therefore we don't have tables here. <laughs> and. Um, you just uh, go on and ask a question that I'm asking to you, but please think about the papers you're going to write and to relate them to our program, you know, that's uh, our mission and interest. And uh, all of you guests, uh, thanks very much for being here first. Um, and I suggest, Matthias, that I will start with the first round of questions. Thank you. here at an organization with uh, collecting, gathering information and providing them for a wide audience. Could you Please say a little bit about first the role of you and Spider, where you're working at the moment, and then how, what is your connection to this tsunami recovery topic? What is your experience and background? Okay, very briefly, the, um, the core task of the UN Spider program is to link the space, com uh, space community for space research and technology, like remote sensing or communication and navigation issues, um, to the disaster risk reduction community and uh, civil protection agencies and to, um, to value the research and technology output of the space field um, in the disaster 